What's up guys, this one's gonna be quick. So a few months ago, I picked up the SVS SB2000, and to no surprise, it's one pretty good subwoofer, albeit with a few quirks compared to other subwoofers that are out there. The box and the presentation are pretty simple, but what lies inside is probably one of the better looking modern subwoofers I've seen in recent memory. Smooth lines, a deep black wood finish, and that perforated grill with the SVS logo combined to give this sub a truly clean aesthetic. What could be improved upon though, are the feet at the bottom. They're rather small, and you could probably benefit from SVS's own sound isolation feet for better bass response. Connections to this sub are straightforward though. I used a grounded power cable and an AudioQuest Black Lab cable. Make sure to use your grounds on these cables if you have them. The rear connections that you see here, they're not anything new. It should be noted that in my room, turning it up more than halfway caused parts of my room to annoyingly vibrate without the isolation feet I spoke about earlier. Now this subwoofer is cheaper than when it first came out, and that's mainly due to the fact that there's a newer Pro model that was just released and it gives you access to the smartphone app as well as an additional 50 watts of power. The app for the new model is a huge help as it allows you to control polarity, EQ, among other things, and that's something you can't do with the SB2000 or the PB2000. I wish mine had that. If there's anything else negative I'd have to say about the older SB2000, I'd have to say that the blue light on the front is way too bright for a dedicated theater like mine. I highly suggest putting electrical tape over it to cover up the intensity. Oh, and one more thing. As good as this subwoofer is by itself in my 5.1.2 setup, I recommend you get two of them to really fill in all of the bass knolls you may have in your room. For me, I have a square room and I could really benefit from a second one of these. That should be common knowledge to you guys already though. In the end, SVS makes a good product. I just wish I would have known about the newer Pro model that was coming out and I would have waited before pulling the trigger on this SB2000 since there's so much more benefits to the new one such as the app and the extra 50 watts of power. Don't forget to give a like on this video, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.